This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Matt Birch and Jess Gregory with me from Community Living Lanark. May is Community Living Month, so each week we're going to have some good folks from Community Living Lanark come and join us and tell us all about what's going on at Community Living and uh, what's going on in our community right now too. So today, Matt, you have been with Community Living Lanark for how long? I've been with Community Living for eight years. Uh, first, I'd just like to say thanks for having us. Um, but yes, I've been with Community Living for eight years and uh, I've wore a lot of different hats over the years, but this is probably my favorite. Um, it's more of a career than it is a job. Uh, it's very rewarding, the most rewarding job I've ever had. That's right, that's right. And, and I, uh, I, again, I'm with Community Living in Kempville as well, with North Grenville. So just love my job working with people too. And Jess, how long have you been with Community Five Living? Five years. Five years? Mm -hmm. And you're from Belleville. Yes. And you're from Belleville. And you moved your, all the way here to the good town of Smith Falls. Yes. All I'm right. very happy to. Excellent, excellent. Now, I'm really excited you're here because last week we had uh, Barb and Rob here, and we were talking about the sledge hockey team. And you are on the sledge hockey team. Yes, I love it. You I, do, eh? Oh, yes. Have you, had you done it before? Um, not till I moved here. Okay, now talk about sledge hockey. How did you learn to, to use the sledge? Um, Is that what you call it, the sledge? It, I am not actually sure. Okay. <laughs> the the um, seat with the blade on it. Like, yeah. How did the, you learn how to do that? I just, they just showed me once and I easily just picked it up and yeah. And you have to balance yourself on that. Yes. Wow. And I guess we spend Part of the, the sessions <clears throat> that we go out, it was every Tuesday, and we go mm -hmm. out and probably half the time we're working on certain skills on how to, yeah, how to stick handle with the sled, uh, how to pass, how to shoot, how to make turns, things like that. So it's even, we learned how to skate backwards, right, Jess? So, yes, that's, but it's, and it's really hard sometimes. I can imagine. I can, it's, it's hard enough on a pair of skates, but like you're sitting in, it's, it looks like a sled yeah. with blades on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got myself in the sled uh, last year, the year before, and it is very difficult. Uh, it's a good core workout, back mm -hmm. workout, arms. It's great, and uh, yeah, I encourage anyone to get out and try it. And mm -hmm. They make it look very easy on the Olympics, but it's difficult. And you've got two sticks in your hands, yes. and it's what's making you move, yes. plus it's your hockey stick. Yes. Right? So at the mm -hmm. one end, yeah, you've got the picks that yeah. you put into the ice, and at the other end, yeah, you've got the blade to uh, maneuver the puck. Wow, mm. that is amazing. That is amazing. And, yes. and how long have you been doing that? For the whole five years you've been uh, here? No, I started, I think, last year, was it? Maybe a couple of years, maybe. Maybe two or three years. Two, yeah. And okay. we have quite a big following. Uh, guys uh, from the from North Lanark, from Carlton Place in Almont, they join the guys from Smith Falls in Perth. And we play at the Almont Arena every Tuesday. And... Uh, yeah, it's quite a big deal. I think I'd say we probably have 50 players, probably. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And now we have to wait till September. Is yeah, it, is it over? Yeah, because we're good, but we're getting ready for baseball. Uh, baseball is a big thing, as you know. And uh, we've been playing indoor soccer throughout the winter, but now we're getting into baseball. And mm -hmm. uh, baseball is always a great hit. Everybody seems to love to be outside in this warm weather. And, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, playing ball. What, what about you, Jess? Are you interested in any other sports? Yes, I uh, I do the soccer. And I do the baseball. You do all of it. Yeah. You do all of it. Now, you, you're trying to get your driver's license. Is yes. that what I understand? How's that going? Good. Yeah. I'm so close to be writing it, but I just have to know, learn a little bit more. And then, yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you talk about that process? Where are you learning to, to I'm, do? I'm learning the Adult Learning Center. They're um, going through with me for the book and doing little tests and I've gotten 80s, up to like 80s to 100. Perfect. The demerit points I'm still having issues with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, you're working on it, so that's good. And you yes. got your first aid in CPR as well. Yes, yeah. I just finished that last week. It, you did? Where did you do that at the At adult? the elementa, or element, elementary first aid. Thank you, uh, Yeah, so Jess and a few of her peers went over and... I think that's great for anybody to have. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, you know, if some of our guys have got young children or you mm -hmm. might be babysitting, mm -hmm. uh, it's good just for our friends. Like, uh, you know, emergencies arise when we're not ready. So, yeah, I'm proud of Jess and, and her fellow mm -hmm. peers that took that mm -hmm. course. It's great to have. Absolutely. Everything from making the phone call, you know, to get help mm -hmm. to being able to help people. Yeah, I also have a four-year-old daughter with lots of 
medical issues, so. You have a daughter? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, absolutely. So having your first aid in CPR mm -hmm. is very beneficial. Yes. For sure, for sure. All right, now, uh, lots going on for Community Living Month, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so this is a big month. Uh, the month of May is Community Living Month, so next Wednesday, Wednesday, May 17th, Community Living is hosting a barbecue, community barbecue for everyone in the community, and that'll be held at Cornelia Court, 91 Cornelia Court. Um, right where the Service Ontario is down there in Smith Falls. And that'll be, yeah, next Wednesday, May 17th from 11 till one, hot dogs, hamburgers, drinks, the whole community. We hope we get many people out. And um, I think some of the proceeds are gonna go to the Food for Thought program at the uh, Smith Falls High School. Uh, they, they do a lot of uh, meal prep and lunches and breakfasts for children that don't, or kids, teenagers that don't have food. Uh, so yeah, we'd like to get back to the community as many people get back to us. So I, I take a few people over and we cut up vegetables and fruits and things and we like to give back that way. But there is a big need over there uh, for food. So this is one way that we can get back by doing this uh, community barbecue fundraiser. It's very reciprocal too. And that means it's go back and forth. You help, we help the community yeah. and the community helps us too. So oh. this sort of thing, it's, it's wonderful to, to see those partnerships. Oh. Yeah, it's great. And you know, the guys that I support, they love to give back to the community and uh, just to be a part of a team, you know, like it's it's really wonderful to see. And to be part of, uh, you know, somebody's uh, dreams, goals, plans, that sort of thing too. It, it's a, it's as a staff, uh, yeah. it's, it's wonderful. You yeah, know, it's, somebody um, wants to do something, it's like, let's try it. I've been blessed uh, to be able to take some of my uh, guys. We went to Blue Jays games and we went to uh, many different uh, we went to medieval times. We went, we've done a lot of fun things, some train trips, uh, just some hiking adventures, just fun, fun things. Yeah, it's a really rewarding job that way. And because of you, they have the opportunity to do so. So, well, you and the st your staff. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, I guess that's what makes us a good team. Like the individuals and the staff. Yeah, it's not just one person. It's a, uh, you know, many, many different players in the game. That's right. That's right. That's right. And how many staff are at Community Living Lanark? Can you hazard a guess there? Oh. Maybe 25, maybe. Really? Yeah. Uh, between between Smith Falls and Perth and, and Carlton Place, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you've got a pretty big area. Yeah, yeah, we do, and everybody seems to mesh pretty well, and, and everybody knows everybody, so it, it's a really good fit, I think. Excellent, excellent. You know what, May is Community Living Month, but, uh, you know, we like to spread the word and, and make awareness for it and everything, too, but... Uh, it's it's community living month all the time that's, too. I like to think <laughs> that's what I think too, Kathy. Yes, it's like May's community living month, but it's community living every month for us, eh, Jess? And, yeah. Uh, another thing that we have coming up on May 23rd is yeah, we have over 50 individuals. We're going to get a bus here from town, uh, Healy's bus, Healy's transportation, and we're going to go up to see the Ottawa Titans play baseball on May 23rd. Uh, just another way to get involved with the community as a big group and uh, hopefully show off some of our new swag with these shirts that mm -hmm. Jess is wearing. Yeah, and, very uh, nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and just go root on those Titans in Ottawa, so. And, and something else you're doing throughout the month, which I think is pretty cool, is your random acts of kindness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I know last week we had a group of guys and they went and they cleaned up some parks and like did some uh, trash pickup and things like that. And they love to do that and help out the community. Um, we also like to volunteer at other places. Uh, we've got guys that volunteer at Jewels and The Real Deal, um, SFDCI there. So, yeah, we're trying to get ingrained in the community as much as we can. And like you said, every month is Community Living Month. But, uh, yeah, and I think the town's even lighting up the water tower right yes. now, uh, blue and green, because those are our colors. So, yeah, we're very lucky to have this community here in Smith Falls. And, Perth and Carlton Place in Almont. Yes, yes we are, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Well, I thank you very much for coming here today. Thanks, Jess, for sharing everything that you're doing. Good thank luck you. with your driver's license. That's yes. pretty exciting, so yes. hope that all goes well with you. But good mm -hmm. on you for having your CPR and first aid, too. Thank you. you never yeah, know thanks what for part having of, us, uh, Kathy. Part of helping mm -hmm. somebody you. you could be, so mm -hmm. good for you, good for you. Matt, you're coming back next week, I understand? Yeah, you'll see me next week. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about some other interesting things we're doing in the community, for sure. Excellent, I look forward to it. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you.